right, what's going on guys, it's Chef. So over the years on my channel, a lot of the content that I made that was some of my biggest content, especially early into it, was a lot of quote, rage content, where literally I would specifically go out of my way to download the most frustrating and annoying games known to man, all for a little drop of content. There's one that is currently very popular named Only Up. The game is all about trying to teach you great life lessons, where it's okay to take risks, you need to try. It's okay to fail. Everybody fails, everybody messes up, everybody falls. Oh, don't look up. We need to get to the top. I'm sure we'll make it. I wonder what awaits us there? The unknown is frightening. It seems easy enough. So as you can see, the objective is to literally just climb all the way to the tippy top. So if you guys want some more only up, whether it's in the background or as a main video, I don't really care. Leave a like on this video, leave a comment, let me know. Now I know that people are going to go out of their way to go and tell me that there's people speed running and that I'm probably not even making it far and all this other shit, but I see the finish line. Surely I can get up there. So literally the entire game is just very simple. You just, you move around like this, you jump and you can climb. That's all the controls in the entire game. Mechanically speaking, Speaking, the game is very simple, very easy, and forgiving. Wow. This is actually really nice. Sometimes it's hard to choose the right path, but don't be afraid. You can always repeat. We learn from our mistakes. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I, you guys think I'm joking when I say this kind of shit? Like, you need to at least try. That's my problem. I don't ever try shit. I know that this game, like, it, it, to most people, they look at it, they're like, why is this so shitty? This game genuinely teaches you some real shit. There's a lot of different games out there that teach you the same type of lessons, I'm sure, but... Okay. On the pipes. Not gonna lie, I'm already up this high, and I, uh, I'm already getting a little vertigo. See, in real life, I'm actually afraid of heights, but... <gasps> In real life, I'm very afraid of heights. I'm afraid of speed. I'm afraid of heights. I'm afraid of... I'm, uh, I'm afraid of making decisions. I'm afraid of breaking out of my usual... <gasps> I'm afraid of breaking out of my usual uh, schedule. <gasps> sorry, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to keep gasping like that. I was told that I actually have some traits uh, in terms of like my reaction to my schedule changing. Doesn't everybody else feel like that? Isn't it a normal thing that like when you have your perfect day planned and then you do it, would you not want to do that exact same day again and again? And again or no my grandfather worked here i often went to see him my grandfather worked here for 60 years and then he died that is a long time to work at one place it feels like when i'm not doing my usual schedule like something bad is about to happen i, I don't know how else to explain that it feels like there's this there's a constant pressure almost like i'm putting on like this is me and then everything else is like me putting on just to like get through it so i can be back to being me does that make sense yeah also yesterday's video was like weird it ended up getting clapped it was like demonetized and then it was remonetized and then it like had this it was strange but if you didn't see i beat amnesia yesterday we can try to skip and just run there and jump over. That's what I'm doing. Woo! Woo! Gotta take risks. That scared the shit out of me. See that right there? That feeling inside of myself where I take that risk and see that I actually did it, that's great for my mental, but I immediately want to retreat back into my shell again. Does that make sense? It doesn't make me build confidence and go, ooh, I want to take more risks now. No, 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 no. It goes, holy fuck, I'm so lucky after I just took that risk. I'm so lucky that it even worked out. Back to safety. That's that's how I operate. I've been like this for as long as I can remember. Well before YouTube type shit. I mean, like, this was just my genuine type of shit that I wanted to do regularly. And just regular shit, too. Regular shit. I deal with it. But when I get back home, I just... The decompression is crazy. It feels so good. There's literally no better place. If I had to choose anywhere to be in the world, it's literally right here. So part of this thing is, number one, dealing with the weird mechanics of, like, how your character feels. Because you can jump, like crazy far and you also kind of like glide and slide on some surfaces sometimes but then again the game is also super forgiving when you're trying to like grab onto things like sometimes you don't even need to press the button so this game teaches you about taking risks and the reward of at least attempting otherwise you're just not really playing the game and they're right but like is it weird to say that i actually like the menu screen i, I it, it is silly you won't make it you're a weak kid go back to the favelas your friends are there your destiny and life is there you have to seek happiness there Get a job in the favelas and live there. There are many like you. You have to be with them and not stand out. Honestly, that's really dark. Like, real though. That is really what they try to do. And I was, dude, you have no idea. I was ready to just straight up just die in that factory that I was working in, in the same town and everything. Like, I really was completely fine with that. To get to the new one, you first have to make a jump and get off the ground. 
not knowing what the future holds. If I fall, I die, though. That's what it feels like. Failure feels like death. Like, if I fuck up, that's it. It's over. Everything, it's over. That's just what it feels like. This is oddly therapeutic. So there's a UFC event tonight, Vittori versus Cannoneer. Honestly, I could just see Vittori just doing a really, really boring fight where he just holds Cannoneer against the cage or some shit. There's no way Vittori will be able to strike with Cannoneer. Vittori's stand-up is, like, mostly jabs and shit. Cannoneer is much more powerful, much more dangerous. But again, I don't think Cannoneer could actually put Vittori away. Even though Vittori's stand-up offense isn't that dangerous, number one, he's got a good chin, big head. Cannoneer's got the power, but I, I, I just straight up do not see Vittori ever really getting hurt. He just doesn't get hurt much. <sighs> Woo! You gotta take your time. You don't need to speed run life. It's okay to be where you are currently, but you should never stop. My father worked here as a driller, and he always smelled of fuel oil. I was uh, afraid of him and hoped that one day oh. he wouldn't come back from work. Oh, my fault. Wait, this game is dark as fuck. Woo! What a gap. Holy shit, look how high we've gone. Uh, yeah, generally, I want Cannoneer to win this fight. Don't get me wrong, but, uh, I just think Vittorio will probably win. Vittorio will probably win. Split decision or unanimous decision. No finish is gonna happen. Both of these guys are crazy tough and defensively pretty good, so. Both of these guys got good chins. Don't get put away, usually. I don't think you guys understand. Like, you have to play the game to understand how your character is feeling right here. Oh, oh. I didn't know if you could actually climb on that or not. Holy shit. <gasps> Whoa! I love how sticky it is to the edges. It's very forgiving, generally. Whoa. But it, it's got some inconsistencies to it that makes it really scary. That That's the scary part. All right, we made it to the factory. Oh, man, this actually reminds me of my job. What the fuck? Honestly, a part of me wishes this music was just playing the entire time. This is beautiful. Did they add a Minecraft noise into this shit? <gasps> Wait, this is the end. Oh, no, never mind. It's definitely not the end. Uh, okay, so we could go over here, climb up. Where would that take us? Can you even actually jump across that? It looks like you can climb up here and jump across into this building, which would take us to this house. The main of the card is Armand Sarukian versus Joaquin Silva. This is just a fight that Sarukian is getting because literally no one wants to accept fights with him. The last person he fought was Demir. No one wanted to fight Demir at all. He beat Demir. He didn't even move in the rankings. People do not want to fight Armand. They don't. They do not want to fight him at all. So, I mean, respect to Joaquin Silva. He obviously has a chance but when i really put this game into like perspective why am i thinking so hard on this game i think i was just trying to understand it and i i immediately understood this game all right where is it going oh it's going across <gasps> what are you doing what the fuck we're okay oh this is really nice also taking me a really long time to get up here and i haven't fallen yet when i do finally fall how am i gonna feel Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey, hold on. I want to take a break. Can you, can we, is there a save feature? All right, let's go across. What a person really needs is not a state of peace, but the striving and fighting for some worthy goal. Even if the goals are very similar. No! Okay, I didn't fall that far. It's not that bad. Sometimes you trip and fall, but you got to take the risks. Or... You don't go anywhere, and not going anywhere is the end of the world? I think the Sarukin has like two losses. One of them coming from Islam Mahasha, the current champion. Pound for pound, like number two. What? I got robbed! I'm getting robbed! What the fuck? Please, please! I didn't, I didn't do anything wrong. That's just life. Sometimes it's not even your fault. Sometimes you lose concentration. Oh no, I'm fucked. I'm gonna fall again. I'm back at the train station. Oh my. I, I'm gonna have to like jump to somewhere. You won't make it. Shut you the fuck up! I now see why most of the negative reviews on this game are all complaining about controls. Not the actual game itself. But I think the controls and responsiveness and clunkiness is a part of the game's charm. Sometimes games and people are just kind of clunky. That's okay. It still operates. It still does what it's supposed to do. Here's the way to think about it. To where it doesn't really hurt. Even if you try really, really hard and you end up failing. Going all the way back to the drawing board. Square one. If you never hated square one to begin with. And you were moving because of growth within yourself. Not because you're ashamed or something. Even if you do fall back down. You're still in a place that you love. That was crazy. My character literally landed on the edge of the rock and they just completely bounced off of it. It made no sense. I straight up bounced off. Of it. it didn't make any sense. I think I'm going to play some Mortal Kombat today. I I'm like level 75, I think, over on uh, Diablo. I pretty much got everything best in slot. Uh, I have a couple roles that aren't like the best possible role, but yeah. Birth, kindergarten, school, army, institute, factory, death. Hello, kinfolk. 
I'd rather go to prison than sit there and fight in a war. I don't give a fuck. I am not going to war. That's funny. Fuck that shit. I'm going AWOL. I do not care. You can come and track me down. I'd rather be in prison. Good luck finding me, though. I promise I'm not a valuable asset either. Obviously, respect to Joaquin Silva for taking the fight. Armand himself said that they were offering, you know, all these guys a lot of money to fight him. And a lot of them were still not taking it. What does this thing do when I don't mess around with it? Okay, I did some crazy skip before then. That's ridiculous. It launched me forward and I managed to actually catch it. Ho, ho, ho. Is this the furthest I've made it? Okay, now what? Oh, the platform's moving. Okay, do I want to jump off at like a specific time? Okay, yeah. Okay, so they bring me over here. I need to get that muscle memory back before I start playing Mortal Kombat because... Also, Mark Rubin confirmed that there's going to be like a prestige system or some shit like that in uh, X Defiant, which obviously helps a lot with the longevity. We're as tall as a lot of the buildings, much higher than a lot of the buildings, actually. <sighs> I've been doing this for a while, too. Oh, shit. Time passes like nothing on this game. If a man does not know which port he is sailing to, no wind will be a tailwind. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, I'm gonna go until I fall again. That, that, that's what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you anybody else in this fight card that's interesting? Hung Ho Kang is in. Uh, not really. It's pretty much just main event, co main event that are the most interesting. Now, on paper, it looks like a weak card, but I'm telling you, it's always these ones that just have crazy bangers in them. I swear, a lot of the time, a lot of the fighters become aware that they're a part of a card that isn't that popular, so they like just start showing up. Childish stubbornness, if you continue on this path, will only bring you regret and misery. Many have broken lives here in pursuit of their dreams, but only a few have been lucky. I know that it's basically saying don't listen to it, but you will hear these things. Give up, don't go for it, you're not gonna make it type shit. Is this a That's part of life? That's how the visually impaired feel. I don't envy oh. them, and I don't envy myself either. This is what outside looks like when I walk around in general. I can't ever see anything outside. Does that happen to other people? Like, I go outside, or if I look, like, in the sunlight too long, my eyes start, like, crying all over myself. Okay, finally that effect is gone. I'm so sorry you have to deal with that. That's terrible. What are you doing? Wait, the game is bu- No, one thing I missed from working in the factory was uh, pushing the pallets and shit around. Dude, we are so high up. This is incredibly draining. My neck hurts. I I'm so tense. <gasps> what are you doing? I'm just gonna sit here and wait for the bus. I'm going back home.